Malayalam cinema is ruling at the moment. Hello guys, Nona Prince and as we all know, Malayalam industry is doing amazing after the pandemic compared to other Indian film industries. And as I've been exploring more and more Malayalam cinema, the merit and quality was never in question. The only thing was reachability, reaching out to other parts of the country and the world. And since the pandemic, the OTT exposure has really helped. But I was wondering, you know, there has to be more to it than that. Why is it that we are getting so amazing Malayalam movies every month, but most of the industries are just silent? What's going on? And as I was preparing for this video, this great article came on The Guardian by Namrata Joshi. It's a very well-written piece. Do check it out. I'll link it in the description. And it talks about, you know, how Malayalam cinema is still pushing out such good content, even post-pandemic. And even Prithvira Sukumar in his recent interview on Film Companion South talked about it. Because of this sudden explosion in, in, the, in the revenue streams, especially of Malayalam cinema, thanks to digital and overseas and all that, we were all slowly migrating towards, okay, big canvas films, bigger films. Let's, you know, let's, let's try and make this, you know, like a, let's release in hundred territories. And then this pandemic happened. And because of the fact that these giant projects are no longer going to be possible, at least for a while, we got back to thinking, hang on, what can we do, you know, compact? What can we do in a controlled environment? So what that does is that brings your writing back to the roots, you know, right. uh, which I think uh, served as a, as a timely reminder to us that what are we actually good at? That at the core, Malayalam industry was always good at making small films, rooted films. And before the pandemic, they were going away from it, making big spectacles. But since the pandemic, everyone's back to their roots and making what they know best. Now this year, we got a lot of great Malayalam films, but most of them were either in production or post-production since the pandemic happened. But we got some original films which are conceptualized, shot and edited and put out during the pandemic. And major examples of that are Joji and R. Kariam, both amazing films. At no point while watching those films, it feels like the quality was sacrificed due to the pandemic or the lockdown. And ideally, it shouldn't. From other industries post-pandemic, we haven't seen anything. All the previous projects are only postponed. We haven't heard about any new ones coming out at least yet. And we don't know how those projects will do. So why is it that the Malayalam industry is doing so good but other industries are not. In my older videos, I've talked about, you know, how the audience pushes Malayalam cinema to be so good. The filmmaking standard is really high. See, now practically, it's way easier to make a small film in a one place. It's easier to shoot, less money is needed. Therefore, there's less stress about getting the investment back. Now, I've learned that the Kerala government is really supportive. In recent news, I heard that they are launching their own OTT platform to support smaller films. And there's a lot of cooperation from the authorities. Now, because of pandemic and rise in streaming services, Malayalam films got access to OTT and most films are getting good return from the platforms. So it's easy for them to give their films to OTT and not go to theatres. And it's very clear because Malayalam films are not really hi-fi that they need to go to box office and earn good money. They are low budget and can easily be watched on OTT platforms. They'll not face loss by going to OTT. And it's a very important thing that Malayalam movies are independent of the medium. They don't really need to get thousands of screens and a big box office number because their reliance is on the storytelling, not the entertainment value or how big the film is. But the same cannot be said for the other industries. Where the films are relying on the big screen. It's a big spectacle. They have spent so much money, they need to get it back. They need to add songs. They need to recover money. That's the big issue there. And when we see those movies on OTT, they sometimes don't work because we can easily see the flaws. You know, the whole marketing gimmick of how much the movie earned on the first day, second day, how many crores, all of that is stopped for good. It should not matter. But these big films use that for marketing to get more people to come, you know, to hide the storytelling issues, to make it more about the actors, the dance, the songs, the big visuals. And now because the theatres are closed, they are dependent so much on theatres, they are suffering. Other industries can also make small films and they do make it, but they don't really do well. And they are considered those artsy films. But I hope with what's happening, that changes and those filmmakers get enough budget to make these films and we see other industries also putting out content. So guys, that was the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, share this video, let me in the comments your thoughts, would love to hear them. The YouTube channel membership is live. You can check out different tiers and their perks. To know more, click on the join button. For latest updates, check out the community tab. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out the videos. If you like them too, do on subscribing and I'll see you next time. Stay home, stay safe.